Ashley Metzger is with the Desert Water Agency. She's with us today and we're talking about maps, boundaries yes. of our local water districts. I guess, uh, you know, you turn on the tap every day, but you don't necessarily think of how the water gets to your house and, and who maybe the neighbors aren't on the same water district. Yeah, it can be a little bit confusing. You know, when you're driving throughout the valley and you go, let's say, from Rancho Mirage to Cathedral City, there's a big clear sign and it's really easy to tell, you know, which city you're in. It's on all the street signs. But when you are, you know, going from one water district to another, there's no way to really tell. So we work with the other water agencies um, and, and we work together on a variety of things. But this map is one of those things, and it's a really easy online tool. We orange are the orange. Right yeah. Yes. So the, the Desert Water Agency is, is that reddish orange color yep. there on the screen. And then the, the big guy, the yellow, is Coachella Valley Water District. And then the little pink is Myoma Dunes. Purple is India Water Authority. Green is Coachella Water Authority. And then the red up top is Mission Springs Water District. I almost didn't see that Myoma Dunes. It's so tiny. Yes, I, yeah, I yeah just Bermuda Dunes the area. There. They're actually, they're, um, not a public water agency, they're a mutual yeah. company, but all of the public water agencies collaborated together to come up with this new website. So yeah. cvwatercounts.com has been around um, for several years now, but we just revamped it and we're really excited because we made a big change and um, part of that was making it a little bit more accessible. It used yeah. to be a little bit more technical and um, report heavy and text heavy. And now we're really trying to get out there to, to everyone, kids included. Okay. So we're excited to introduce our new mascot. That's what I've heard. You've actually yes. got a new mascot. That, I guess that would be one of the ways to make it a little more uh, yes. user, userly exactly. friendly. Exactly. And that's Splash. Splash. He's really fun. And he's going to be all over the place. He's going to be in schools. He's going to be even here on KESQ. Uh, he's going to be bouncing around and on the web and in videos and, and giving tips. You know, because he's a water drop, it makes sense that, you know, he'd want yeah. to save water. And he's going to be on a mission to save those tips. Which is important because every drop counts and Splash yes. appears to be a drop of water. Yes. Am, I, am I, you know, you're right, saying too you're much right. there? Okay. Um, and he may even make some appearances at events and some local businesses. So. He is going to be a pretty popular guy and yeah. definitely has more appeal than uh, some of us water district folks. Yeah, but, but the, the message of conservation and just, again, making every drop count because yes. we do live in the desert, so we conservation do. is always and, important. You know, he, we already have some posters developed. He's going to be telling people to look for uh, leaks and fix, mm -hmm. fix those, uh, putting a nozzle on their hose before they wash their car. Um, you know, even just little things like if you're going to wash your dog yeah. off with a hose, maybe do it over the grass instead of the concrete. And then if you do need to wash down your concrete, use a broom instead of a hose. And some yeah. of those things are the things that are now going to be required. Yeah. So. Well, I know that the, the governor just uh, talked about continuing drought measures, yes. at least until spring as they, you know, have a lot of water up in the mountains they up do. in Northern California, but still it's important to, to keep that conservation message alive. Well, we, we pushed back a little bit. We yeah. thought it was time to kind of call it yeah. and say, you know, no more emergency. Um, but they, they're they taking a very cautious approach right. and they want to wait until the full water year yeah. is over. So in early May, we'll be back up in Sacramento talking with them and saying, now's really yeah. time to call it. <laughs> call so. it an emergency when it is. And, exactly, and when it's not, exactly. Not. Thanks, Ashley, for being here with us today. We're going to have your top stories coming up. You're watching the Desert's News Leader. Stay tuned.